In this video, we will teach you how to scan. Plug in your scanner into a USB 2.0 port. We recommend using the back panel USB ports of the computer. It is important to remember not to plug in any other USB devices into the same USB hub. The scanner is now ready. Click the Start button on your scanner to open the scanning panel in Artec Studio. Click the button again to start the preview mode. Notice that when you move the scanner to and from the object, the distance grid helps you optimize the distance between the scanner and the object. Keep the scanner within the green zone for better results. Use the sliders to adjust the depth of view of the scanner. At the top of the panel, there's an FPS indicator, which displays the number of frames per second you're capturing. Underneath it, you also see Preview, Record and Stop Scanning buttons. And just below that, the Scan Options menu. Now we can choose one of several available scanning modes. Geometry and Texture Tracker is a combination of texture and geometry tracker algorithms. This option is only available for scanners with texture capabilities and is selected by default. It allows registration algorithms to track and align scans using both texture and geometrical features of an object that is being scanned. Using a Geometry Plus Texture Tracker ensures the best possible results, allowing you to move your scanner faster while scanning and leaving less work for manual post-processing at the end. Geometry Tracker is the only tracker that is available for all Artec 3D scanners, regardless of whether it has a texture camera or not. This tracker uses only geometry of the objects to align frames during scanning. Among the other trackers, it is the least CPU hungry, and it is most suitable for scanning objects that are geometry rich. Texture Tracker uses the color information of the object to align frames during scanning. It is best used while scanning geometry poor but color rich objects like a flat table with a colorful design. This tracker is only available for scanners with a texture camera. Let's look at the other parameters of the scan tab. Reducing scanning speed can be useful when you want to limit data acquisition speed to decrease post processing time of the model in the future. This parameter directly affects the FPS speed. Additional parameters can be found in the Advanced section. In this panel, you can choose the scanner you would like to use. If only one scanner is connected to the computer, it will be chosen automatically. If your computer is not powerful enough to process texture information, you can switch off texture. To begin, Click on the top part of the scanner button again. Scan the objects from different sides. Try to move the scanner evenly without jerking. If registration is lost, try to return the scanner to the previous position and continue scanning. If this does not help, you should stop and start a new scan. You will be able to use it afterwards. Try not to hold the scanner in one place. Move it to scan the object from different points of view. To stop scanning, Press the lower part of the button on the scanner or press Stop in the Scan tab. Press the Stop button on your scanner and exit the Scan panel. Once scanning is stopped, Find Serial Registration is performed automatically. This function improves the accuracy of the recorded data. All the data received during scanning appears in the Workspace window. Now that scanning is finished, we need to post-process the data by cleaning it up and aligning several scans into a single model. These and other functions will be described in our other tutorials.